Welcome, 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 welcome to the Modern Medicine Movement Podcast. Dr. Thomas Hemingway here, and I am pumped. I am grateful. I'm stoked. I'm excited to be back with you here, recording back in my home <laughs> bedroom studio on my real podcasting equipment. It's awesome. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Welcome, guys. So excited to be back here with you. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. A little bit of uh, rock and roll to start the show today. Hope you guys are doing well. I am pumped. I am grateful. So excited to be back with you. Did a super fun podcast last week from my phone. Yes, thank you, iPhone, for having that capacity. <laughs> Probably all phones do, but it was super easy to record with a phone, which I just may do from time to time when I don't have my fancy podcasting equipment. But I'm back home. I have my equipment handy, and I am doing it. I'm doing this on Zoom as well, so I'll have that recording hopefully posted up on YouTube at some point, and maybe we'll even have a transcription to go with it for all you guys that like transcriptions. I just upgraded my Zoom, and uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll all work out. I'm just trying it. Let me know if you like that sort of thing. You might use a transcript, or if it's helpful for you, I'd love to be a part of the solution. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you're doing well. It's summertime. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I got a little bit of my favorite vitamin D therapy <laughs> earlier today. Took my kids on a pretty fun mountain bike ride that was awesome and uh, absorbed a little bit of those ultraviolet rays. It was actually in the morning, so we got that, that awesome kind of infrared spectrum that's available in the early morning hours, about three hours or so in the morning. It's available with the sunrise plus three and sort of the sunset, minus two to three hours. Those are some great hours to be outdoors because you get that sort of red spectrum, that uh, infrared spectrum, which is so helpful, so useful for so many things. You know, we talked about that structured water stuff uh, last week when I talked about hydration. It's so useful for that. So that way you don't even have to go out and buy that fancy water, which your stomach probably breaks down anyway, and you can get your cells to rejuvenate and use this infrared light that's available free. I'm all about the free. <laughs> In fact, today we're going to be talking about a couple of my favorite vitamins and minerals and how they are used together synergistically, that you need them together. Actually, a couple of my favorite ones, and it'll be a tiny bit of review for you guys who have been listening for a long time. We're Almost at a year and a half of podcasts, guys. Super exciting. So hopefully you've uh, enjoyed them thus far and you continue to get value. If you have, please drop me a review. I just love, love, love to hear from you guys. In fact, um, I'm just going to go ahead. Why not? Go ahead and read one of the recent reviews that I got because I just love these things. They just tickle my heart. They just make me so pumped, so grateful. I just want to do another show every time I read one of these. And so if you guys haven't already written a review, please do so. Just scroll down on Apple Podcasts down to the bottom. There's those five stars. Click on the one farthest to the right. And then right below that, there's a little thing uh, to the left, right below the five stars that says write a review. Just click on that link and have at it. Show me um, what you're loving, share with me, you know, what you're liking, and appreciating, what have you, what, what have you gleaned, you know, what benefits. I just love to hear this, guys. It's so awesome. And so this one is by uh, uh, Back From The Beach is, <laughs> is what they call themselves. Five-star review entitled Real Answers. It says, and I'm just reading this right off the Apple podcast. It says, quote, I'm really thankful to have these podcasts to listen to. Dr. Hemingway talks in a way the layperson can follow easily. I'm not a believer in being helpless to the effects of aging, if my doctor says, quote, well, you know, as you age or you're getting older, quote, I kind of tune out. Yes, our bodies change, but doing all the common sense, natural things to keep your body tuned, moving, repairing itself. These are the things we can do to live our best life. Thank you, Dr. Hemingway, for doing these things. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Back from the beach, you are so welcome. I am so pumped for your review, and I'm so grateful for you guys because I do this for you. And, yes, we can achieve optimal health no matter what age we are. 
I'm in my 48th year and I feel great. I just did my first real mountain biking ride of the season because I had some injuries a while back. Actually, <laughs> go figure, mountain biking. I broke my finger, I broke my wrist, I broke my elbow, and that's been roughly about six weeks, so I'm ready to get back in the saddle. And so my kids and I did that today, and it was awesome. We got some mountain fresh air, a little bit of vitamin D, and it was incredible. And doing all the natural things can help you achieve optimal health, which is what we talk about in the show. And we list them, we detail them, we talk all about them. And it's such a fun time as well. I think those of you that have been following me for a while sort of know <laughs> how much fun these are. These are fun shows. And we, we talk about all the things that are natural and mostly free, you know, free therapy, like a little bit of vitamin D therapy that I got today. So super pumped, guys. So grateful for you. Um, in fact, the inspiration to the show today, I just, I just came across this article um, that uh, I'm going to share with you here quickly. It's from the Journal of the uh, American Osteopathic Medical Association from March 2018. So it's just a couple of years old, and it's entitled The Role of Magnesium in Vitamin D Activation and Function. In other words... Mighty magnesium, my favorite mineral, as you guys heard about in a show about a year ago, is essential to activate vitamin D. You know, vitamin D3, the useful vitamin D that's involved in all of those helpful things like anti-aging, immune health, brain health, uh, weight and weight loss. I mean, vitamin D is so stinking important, and you could be... Maybe you are taking a supplement like I do when I'm like here, for example, in the mountains of Utah, I, I don't get a lot of vitamin D, so I often supplement. And if you, if you supplement with vitamin D, you may not get the actual benefit unless you have appropriate levels of magnesium because magnesium is a required cofactor. Remember in the magnesium podcast, we talked about, you know, the 600 plus reactions that magnesium is involved with. Well, one of those important reactions is the use of vitamin D. Like vitamin D legit needs magnesium available at an appropriate level to be able to do its awesomeness. So vitamin D and magnesium together are synergistic and they need one another. And if you're taking a bunch of vitamin D supplements and your magnesium level is low, you are not getting the benefits. In fact, it may even be the opposite of benefit and may give you some issues if you don't have appropriate levels of vitamin um, or of the mineral, I should say, magnesium, uh, because then the vitamin D that you're taking is just going to be increasing calcium and, and phosphorus and things, and that could lead to some issues if you don't have appropriate magnesium around. So you want to have enough magnesium, and we'll just talk a little bit about, I just love magnesium so much, we'll just review why it's so awesome and, uh, you know, it's, it's the fourth most abundant mineral in the entire human body. And last week I had some fun with um, talking about the sea. You know, all life begins in the sea, for example. You know, we talked about the coelacanth, you know, that uh, ancestor, you know, uh, evolutionarily uh, of some of the vertebrates. That's pretty cool. The fish that walked out of the ocean or whatever. Um, that was kind of fun to talk about. But um uh, <laughs> this is not a discussion about evolution because I believe in the powers that be. I believe in a higher, higher order, a higher law, a higher being, higher energy, you know, that was involved in, in us and in our creation in this beautiful world. And that this all works through natural processes and evolution is a natural process. And so, so it's just a fun thing to talk about when you kind of incorporate, you know, a higher being a higher energy, you know, using these natural laws. And it's just super fun. We're not going to get into, you know, evolution versus creationism because I, I really believe that they're not mutually exclusive, that they can exist together in, in, in fact, in synergy because natural law is, is what the, uh, what it is. It's all about. And I just think we as humans, unfortunately, don't understand all the natural law. But anyway, um, nature is where it's at, and, and we talked about last week coming from the sea. That was super exciting because uh, in the sea are the same ingredients or the same minerals and electrolytes 
that are in us, the ones that we need so much. If you recall, I shared with you an article that stated the proportions of the um, of the electrolytes in the sea, and they were obviously sodium chloride were the first because that's salt, and also magnesium was one of the top four or five as well. Magnesium, calcium, um, and potassium were all up there in the top five or six in the ocean and also in our body. So magnesium, as I mentioned, is awesome. It's actually the fourth most abundant mineral in our very own, yours truly, our human bodies, right? And uh, we know that it's involved in over 600 or more uh, reactions in the body. It's a key cofactor. I mean, it's so important. I didn't call it the mighty mineral for nothing, you know? And what's interesting is most of us just don't know about it. And we actually have a super high deficiency um, level um, in all of us. 80% of, of uh, people in the, in the first world, if you will, U.S., Canada, developed world, you know, in, uh, you know Europe, all of, the, all of the places, you know, developed worlds up to 80% or, or even more are deficient in magnesium. And most of us have no idea. We don't even know it. <laughs> so it's super important. It's actually required in that energy process, you know, that we talked about in the podcast way back when of ATP generating energy, magnesium is needed for a cofactor. So if you are having low energy, one of the reasons could be you may be magnesium deficient. (laughs) It's just such an essential building block for so many functions. It activates enzymes. It's involved in hundreds and hundreds of biochemical reactions. As mentioned, it's the fourth, fourth most abundant mineral Um, It can even boost our exercise performance, right? It's so helpful. It helps the calcium and vitamin D regulate our bone health as well and regulate um, our exercise performance. We know that magnesium can help fight depression. It can help fight uh, muscle soreness, muscle pain. It it helps me a lot to fight migraines. I, when, when I was magnesium deficient previously, I was getting a lot of migraines and now thank goodness I super rarely get a migraine, and that's because I do supplement with magnesium. In addition to my other favorite, uh, vitamin D, vitamin D3, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Magnesium also has a benefit in blood sugar balance and improving insulin levels, and so it decreases both diabetes and insulin resistance. And gosh, we've talked so much about insulin resistance because it's probably the most common health problem in the world and super under-recognized, 88% of us have some degree of insulin resistance. And if we make sure our magnesium is up to par and we supplement with magnesium, we can get hopefully less of this problem because magnesium improves insulin sensitivity and decreases insulin resistance. So, so important. Magnesium can also lower blood pressure. It helps with cardiovascular health, um, has anti-inflammatory benefits. It helps... Uh, with brain health, not only in my specific case, it helps prevent migraines. It also helps treat migraines. If you guys came and saw me in the hospital with a severe migraine and I was your physician, I would be popping in an IV and loading you up with IV magnesium, probably two to four grams. That's a lot. (laughs) Most of us don't get that. In fact, almost 100% of us don't get that much in a day. And that's the reason we're so deficient is because We don't think about it. We don't supplement. And we'll talk about doses and things in in just a bit. But uh, that mighty mineral magnesium is so helpful for cardiovascular health, brain health, decreasing migraines, uh, improving insulin resistance. It also, guess what, improves that stinky week of the month that the ladies experience. It improves menstrual cramps. It improves and reduces PMS, uh, helps reduce uh, insomnia. It also helps with... um, with sleep. You know, if you're having difficulty sleeping, one of the things that you can do is make sure you're supplementing with, with magnesium. So anyway, it's, it's such an important, uh, such an important, important, uh, mineral. And that's, I don't call it the mighty mineral for nothing. Magnesium is so, so important. Love, love, love me some magnesium. And so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the dosing of that. We'll talk a little bit about, uh, a um, couple of the nuances with it, how to check for deficiency. Um, I just think that it's so important. Um, what else? Do we forget anything? Um, it improves sleep. I think I mentioned that one of the great times, and I take some at night. I take a magnesium 3 and 8. 
And the reason why is I take that in the evenings because it does cross the blood brain barrier. And so it, it helps with brain health, helps with sleep. I take uh, magnesium glycinate in the morning because I'm not trying to be sleepy. I'm just trying to make sure my levels are appropriate. Um, and also we can get it from our food, pumpkin seeds, spinach, Swiss chard. Hey, even dark chocolate. Who knew, right? <laughs> the, the more cacao, the better. I know it's a little bit bitter, but uh, the less sugar, the more cacao is the most benefit. It's also in black beans, halibut, almonds, cashews, mackerel, and my favorite avocado magnesium is in avocado such an important mineral that you have in your body like i said the fourth most abundant in our entire human body and uh, you just need it you need it you need it and when you take it you need to make sure you also have appropriate levels of calcium because they work together um, and usually you want to do a ratio of calcium and magnesium about two to one um, and uh once again, if you have too much magnesium and not enough calcium, you can have things like diarrhea. You know, we've all heard of this thing called milk of magnesia, you know, which has magnesium or magnesium citrate that can that can cause diarrhea, for example. But uh, typically the magnesium that is taken um, in supplemental form like magnesium glycinate, which tends to not cause diarrhea as well as magnesium uh, three and eight, which is the great one for sleep and for brain health. Those typically don't cause uh, diarrhea and if you if you do have diarrhea maybe you have an appropriate level but the only way to find out is have your doctor or healthcare provider just check check a magnesium level because we're often deficient i don't know if i mentioned this but magnesium is also awesome for immune health <laughs> it's involved in so many reactions over 600 um, some of the which help with uh, your body you know your immune cells producing antibodies you know the one that does that is called the b cell and it needs magnesium in order to do that. It also helps flush out foreign bacteria um, through a process called C3 convertase as well. And uh, it's just it's helpful for, for immunity. Who knew, right? <laughs> but as I mentioned, you want to make sure you have appropriate levels of magnesium in order to be able to utilize the vitamin D that you may be taking as a supplement. Super important, super important. Maybe we'll just roll into vitamin D, one of my favorite vitamins, <laughs> because it's free most of the time, you know, especially this time of year in summer, we can get sort of free therapy with uh, vitamin D, and it's helpful for so many things, including our mood. Obviously, we learn about this in school, the bone health that's so important, the calcium and vitamin D need to go together because without having them both, you can't really absorb the calcium if you don't have appropriate vitamin D. Um, also, just like magnesium, this can, vitamin D, help with insulin control and reduces insulin resistance. That dreaded 88% of us that have it, we can, we can minimize it by adding appropriate vitamin D. And D3 is the active form that you want to supplement with. If you're not getting adequate sunshine, you can certainly um, add some vitamin D3. We'll talk about how much and what types are best, but um, it improves insulin resistance. It also helps lower blood pressure. A lot of these things are similar to magnesium benefits. A better heart health, for example, um, has been shown with vitamin D. Also, it's been effective in helping with mood. In fact, I can remember <laughs> a few times in the ER, not that often, I would check a vitamin D level for new onset uh, depression because low, low vitamin D can definitely cause or contribute to depression. Um, not only in, in that sense, in severe depression, but also in that uh, thing that uh, a lot of us suffer from in the winter. You know, seasonal affective disorder is partially due to low vitamin D. You know, so... That sunlight is so important, some free therapy out there. Uh, vitamin D helps lower susceptibility to many cancers. So it's, it's anti-cancer properties, anti-aging as well. It's useful for brain health. And uh, about half of Americans uh, between, you know, depends on what study you read, but 50 to 70% of Americans and, you know, those uh, living close by in Canada and so on that are at similar latitude between 50 and 70% of us are deficient in vitamin D. So super, super common. Uh, definitely want to check your levels. Um, and 25-hydroxylate uh, uh, vitamin D is the blood test you can, you can check for. Have your physician or healthcare provider check a vitamin D3, 25-hydroxy uh, vitamin D level, as well as a magnesium level. Add those on. And if you can talk them into checking an insulin level, 
even better because we know how important it is to know your fasting insulin that they always check a fasting blood sugar but as we know you can miss sort of an early onset diabetes or just insulin resistance if you never check an insulin level a fasting insulin level so you want to do that you want to get your insulin level also as low as possible less than five would be ideal um and so um, we were talking about vitamin uh D and all its benefits, and it's so common to have low levels. And so um, you really want to be able to have appropriate levels of vitamin D as well as magnesium and make sure that if you're supplementing with vitamin D, which many of us, I think, are maybe maybe less so in the summer months because we're getting a little, little free therapy, uh, as I like to call it. Just keep in mind that you can't overdose vitamin D with uh, free therapy, with, with sunlight. You just can't. Um, with uh, too much oral vitamin D, it's technically possible to overdose, but super, super rare. I scoured the literature, and and I could only really find one case of of a you know bad outcome from vitamin D over supplementation. But these were levels that were just grams and grams and grams, like totally ridiculous amounts, which you would never take that much anyway. And literally, I only found one case in the entire literature. Um, and so it's super rare, you know, most of us are not going to overdose on vitamin D, uh, if we take it in supplement form, if we follow the, you know, the instructions on the label or our doctors or healthcare providers recommendation on that, um, just make sure it's the active form vitamin D3. I've actually seen physicians, believe it or not, prescribe vitamin D2 (laughs) prescriptions for that. And it's not the active form. Why wouldn't you get the active form vitamin D3? And you actually don't even need a prescription for that. Um, once again, I mentioned already, it's useful for brain health as well as mood, as well as cardiovascular health. So many good things, so many good things. And so let's talk a little bit about some signs of deficiency and how we can, um, how we can be able to um, replenish it or supplement with it or replace it. Because vitamin D has been um, even purported to be sort of a a universal risk factor for illness, universal risk factor for illness. So in other words, pretty much all illness, including COVID, you know, you guys have heard of this a lot in recent months, they finally recognize the importance of vitamin D with immunity. And it's been shown that people with low vitamin D levels, especially those less than 20, but even those less than 30 or even 40 can have a worse reaction if they get sick with COVID. You know, preferentially you want to get your vitamin D uh, level above 40 or 50, you know, that would be ideal because then you get not only benefits with immune health, but you get the brain health benefits, the decrease of the potential for a lot of these chronic illnesses, decreases your cancer incidence. Uh, So many things. Vitamin D is so, so helpful, even as helpful with cardiovascular health. And once again, um, you need both vitamin D and magnesium. They need to go together. The traditional recommendation for dosage of vitamin D is you know between 600 and 1,000 international units a day, depending on your age. I would humbly submit that most of us are so deficient that we probably need closer to 1,000 uh, international uh, units, or um, usually they're measured in that. Or, or if you have a label that says micrograms, you want to be looking at you know around 20 or 30 micrograms. Um, many of them are in international units. So just take a look. If you're looking at micrograms, you want to do, you know, around 20 to 30 micrograms. And if it's international units, about 800 to 1,000. That's pretty much universal. As we age, we need a little bit more. But have your doctor check your 25-hydroxylate vitamin D level, and then you will know. <laughs> and then you will know. Um, and then magnesium, uh, you want to get, most of us need at least about 500 milligrams a day. Um, super hard to overdose with magnesium because once you even get to a high level, you start having a bunch of diarrhea anyway and just dumping it out. I personally take every night at bedtime two grams. So that's four times the generally, you know, recommended amount. You know, usually it's going to be around uh, 350 to 500 uh, milligrams a day. Um, I would err on the side of the 500 milligrams a day minimum. Um, But like I said, I personally take about two grams a day. And I, I try to take at least a gram of that in the evening because it helps me with sleep. It's so useful, so helpful for me. And it's not only decreasing my incidence of migraines, but it's helping me sleep. It's helping me have the appropriate energy because I can make ATP better because vitamin or excuse me, magnesium is such a mighty mineral. It's involved in over 600 
reactions throughout the body. And if you happen to overdose on it, it'd be super rare, but you would know it because you'd be throwing up, you'd be having tons of diarrhea, uh, all kinds of stuff. You'd feel super flushed. Your blood pressure would get really low, uh, but super, super uncommon. It's, in fact, the only time I've ever seen anybody have magnesium overdose, if you will, was in the treatment of preeclampsia, which is this condition in pregnancy where basically the treatment is IV magnesium. You put somebody on a drip of like four grams an hour, like big giant doses. This is way more than you would ever get orally, um, as I was mentioning. So super rare to get overdoses with magnesium, especially if you're only taking 500 to a gram a day. Like I said, I take about two grams a day personally because I know how useful it is for me and how helpful it is. But I would say anywhere between 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams, which would be one gram, is pretty much going to be safe for just about any adult. You know, and kids, you'll want to probably do a little bit less than that, of course, and consult with your healthcare provider. But you actually need magnesium, as mentioned, in an adequate level in your body to absorb vitamin D. So important. You got to have the two together. Not only do they work together in many reactions because magnesium is this cofactor that we talked about, but also you got to have magnesium in its proper level to be able to absorb the vitamin D3. So super important to have appropriate levels of, of magnesium. Otherwise, you're pretty much wasting your money taking a vitamin D supplement because you can't absorb it anyway. <laughs> so make sure you have enough magnesium. It's just so, so important. It also will prevent you from having the hypercalcemia, which can happen if you take too much vitamin D without having an appropriate level of magnesium. So the two go together. Um, we talked a bit about uh, both magnesium and uh, vitamin D. How do you know if you don't have enough vitamin D? Well, best way is just to take a level, right? You want to measure it like I said, ideally, you want to get your level. I think I think the lab test will say as long as it's over 20, it's normal. But that's sort of the super bare minimum. I would submit that you want to get your level above 40. Um, I personally shoot for a level above 50 or 60 um, because it just your risk of all these chronic illnesses go down. It's so helpful to have appropriate levels of vitamin D. You know, personally, uh, my goal is around 50 or 60, but you at least want to have definitely more than 20 to make sure your immune health is adequate. Um, and if you don't have enough and you, you know, aren't able to check it, you may be having symptoms. You may be having fatigue. You may be having back pain, bone pain, joint pains, maybe some depression or anxiety. Maybe your wounds, if you get them, injure yourself, tend to take a long time to heal. You may have hair loss. You may have muscle pain. You may have muscle cramps. You may have, um, loss of bone mass, osteopenia. You know, maybe you're breaking bones too easily because as I mentioned, you got to have enough magnesium to even take use of the vitamin D and the calcium because you, you must have adequate magnesium or you can't even absorb the vitamin D. Um, anyway, muscle weakness, the blood pressure could be elevated if you have low levels, irregular heartbeat. In the ER, I would see this, um, and actually it can be catastrophic. I've seen people die of really, really, really low doses of magnesium and having super low blood levels. And this isn't super common, but I've seen it a couple of times in my career. And sometimes it's caused by um, some of the eating disorders, you know, especially those that involve, uh, when you, you know, uh, force yourself to have emesis or vomiting, uh, anorexia, or this case would be bulimia. And I've seen cases of severe magnesium deficiency or hypomagnesemia in the blood where people literally can die from the cardiac effects because you have dis dysrhythmias or irregular heart rhythms um, that can actually kill you. There's this one called torsade de pointe uh, or torsades for short, which is largely resulting from a low, low magnesium. So you better believe it. We're checking this with any, you know, palpitation history, people that get funny heartbeats or they get racing heartbeats. We check magnesium in all of these folks because it's actually a lot more common than you think to have low magnesium. And so you definitely want to have appropriate levels, make sure that you get yours checked Make sure that you get your vitamin D levels checked um, because this could be a game changer. And as I mentioned, there's so many stinking benefits of these two things, mighty magnesium, the mineral, as the fourth most abundant in the body, as well as free therapy with vitamin D. And if you're not getting enough from sunlight, you can certainly supplement with vitamin D3. That would be the recommendation. Not vitamin D2, but take vitamin D3. 
and you may need to take magnesium with it together. I actually take both of these at night and I take them together and I've had successful elevation of my vitamin D levels this way because when I check mine, it's, it's probably due, um, I'm due for another check, but I, I checked mine initially, it was over a year ago during the winter and I was actually in Hawaii at the time, but I guess I wasn't getting enough uh, sunlight. My level was about 30 and so it was above the 20 threshold. It wasn't considered severely low, but according to all my reading, I was reading up on all the COVID stuff and how to increase your vitamin D and the levels that most of these uh, data were suggesting you should get it above 40 or 40 to 50. So I started supplementing and then I got my level up to about, uh, it was about 50. It was like 48 with supplementation. Now I would hope that my level would be closer to 50 or 60. I'll probably get that rechecked and I'll let you guys know, but you don't know unless you check. Right? As Tony Robbins says, if you don't measure it, you'll never know. You got to measure it. <laughs> many bright minds out there in a lot of, you know, so many different avenues recommend that we check these things. You know, with our business, we got to have, you know, we got to have metrics, right? You got to get some optics on it, as people say. You got to know the data because if you never check, you'll never know. You'll never improve. You know, you just got to check. So ask your doctor, check your 25 hydroxylate vitamin D level and check your magnesium level you know, as well as your standard electrolytes, throw in a fasting insulin as well. All these things are so, so helpful. And with these two together, the mighty mineral magnesium and vitamin D, you will be so much better off. Your mood will improve. Your energy will improve. Your sleep will improve. Your immune function will improve. Just all of the things, right? Just so many things. We've talked about this ad, ad nauseum and I just... Couldn't help but share this new article with you guys because I was so pumped to read this in the literature. Something I kind of knew about from my biochemistry days, but but it's just so nice to see this reiterated in the literature. And I'll put a link to that in the podcast and the show notes because I just think it's so valuable. And, and most of us just didn't realize that and we may be missing it. We may have been supplementing with vitamin D, maybe even on my recommendation, but not supplementing with magnesium. So they're best taken together. I personally do so at night, but you got to check. You never know unless you check. So I hope this is useful for you. The Mighty Mineral Magnesium, my favorite vitamin, vitamin D, <laughs> which you can get for free out in nature and using them together synergistically, taking them at night. And, and I want to hear, you know, if you guys uh, find out that you're low and then you supplement and, and improve, you know, reach out to me, email me at Modern Medicine Movement Podcast at Gmail or look me up on Facebook, Modern Medicine Movement, or just my regular site, Thomas Hemingway, or at Aloha Surf Doc on Instagram. And if you haven't already joined my free, you know, Facebook group, Modern Medicine Movement Health and Wellness Facebook group, go ahead and request. I pretty much universally accept everybody, um, except the trolls, right? We don't want we don't want the trolls. Although I I don't know that I could figure that out, but I pretty much accept everybody, and I I'm just happy to have you in my group to learn, to just thrive, learn how to thrive and not just simply survive. So hopefully you found that useful. We'll play a little rock and roll to send you off, but I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you, how much I'm grateful to be able to share these things with you. And if you've gotten any value here, please reach out with uh, a review on uh, Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts and just think you might be shared in a future episode. I might uh, highlight you. And in fact, um, I'm going to do I'm going to do a upcoming giveaway where once I get we'll say we got to have a minimum of 20 reviews. Minimum of 20. Hopefully we can get 50 or 100, but once we get uh, an additional 20 reviews and I monitor this. Now uh, let's do it. Why not? 20 is pretty easy. We could probably get that in a couple of days. Once we get an additional 20 reviews, I will personally draw out of a hat and I'll look at all the reviews that have been given and I will give you my natural wellness, natural weight loss course for free. I will pick one out of the hat and I will give one of you guys a free natural weight loss, natural health and wellness course, which I've had a bunch of people, dozens of people sign up and they've already been having weight loss. My buddy that signed up just about a week or two ago, he already has lost six pounds in like two weeks. Like, oh, I was just so tickled when he messaged me and let me know. And, and uh, oh, it's so awesome. A lot of people are getting results. And so if you haven't already gotten my course, you can get it on mastermind.com. I'll throw out the 
link in the show notes as well. But I'm going to give away one entire course, $197 value for free for somebody who writes me a review on Apple Podcasts. So if you haven't already, please, please drop a review. Please share. Ah, I love you guys. And uh, we'll give you a little rock and roll to, to end the show. A big aloha from Hawaii Ne and a little rock and roll. Love you guys. Write a review. Share. Let me know what you're loving. Let me know what you're learning. And I can't wait for the next show, guys. I got some exciting stuff in the pipeline. I've been reading a lot of cool data. And I just can't wait to share more. So hopefully you've gotten some value today. And uh, let me know if you have. Because I'd love to hear about it. Love you guys. A big giant aloha. Aloha.